Welcome to Tuning Out Physics, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to go over the wave equation. In my last video I talked about the properties of a transverse and a longitudinal wave. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about equations, defining formulae that actually we can use for transverse and longitudinal waves. So, I'm going to first of all talk about something very basic called the wavelength. Now, the wavelength is defined as the distance between two identical parts of the wave. So it's the actual distance and um, by distance, I mean distance travelled between two identical parts on a wave. Now, if we look at a transverse wave, two identical parts of the wave are not here and here. They are not identical, even though they are the same value. This is because what's going to happen to that particle before and after is different. The only position here that is to the identical point is from here to here. And it is this distance here which would be one wavelength. For a longitudinal wave, it is from identical position to identical position. So, from a centre of a compression to the next centre of a compression, that is one wavelength. So it's really important that you're doing it from the same point to the same point. But on a transverse wave, it is from the same point to the same point, realising that it has to go up, then down, then back again. Another key defining feature of a wave is its time period. The time period for a wave, or the letter big T, is defined as how long it takes for a one whole wave, or wave length, to travel through a point. So how long does it take this to travel? That is the time period. Is it as measured in seconds? Or S? Frequency, or F, is something very similar, but altogether very different, is how many waves I get in one second. So if I get a full wave in one second, my frequency is one. If I get 10 waves in one second, my frequency is 10. If I get 0.1 wave or 0.1 of a wave in a second, that is 0.1. And we measure frequency in the unit of hertz, or HZ, or Z, depending on how you pronounce it. These two are very much linked together. How long for one wave and how many waves in one second are related. And they're related by this formula here, that the frequency is 1 divided by the time period. And you can see these equations on your data sheet. This formula is immensely important, important, not just for waves, but for things like simple harmonic motion, for circular motion, etc. So please be aware this frequency is one over time period is extraordinarily important for the rest of the A-level course. So we have the time period and the frequency defining something about the time of a wave. We have the wavelength defining how much distance the wave has gone. We can relate these two 
and look at the speed. Speed is defined as distance over time. And we are going to use these concepts to be able to calculate the speed of a wave. And we use something known as the wave equation. The wave equation is that the velocity here is the frequency of the wave times by its wavelength. And this comes up at GCSE. The one in the AQA um, exam data sheet is this one here, C equals F lambda. My lambda is wavelength. The reason they're using C is because of the speed of light. The speed of light is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. You need to know, firstly, that 3 times 10 to the 8 is the speed of light, it is on the data sheet, and also that when they put c equals f lambda, they're using c in replace of the speed of light. You can replace it with v as well, if you were, say, doing a wave that wasn't moving at the speed of light too, but this is the one that you get in the data sheet. Exactly the same as this, just we are very specifically talking about the speed of light. That is the wave equation. Give you an example of the wave equation. If I had a wave here, I was told its wavelength is two meters. And I was given this graph here and was asked to work out the velocity of this wave. I know its wavelength and I know the time it takes to do one wave. So V equals F times lambda. I'm going to need a frequency and I have been given this graph here. I know the time it takes to do one wave is two seconds. This means my frequency is one over two, or 0 0.5 hertz. In one second, I'm going to do half a wave. I'm gonna put these into this formula now. V equals 0 0.5 times by two, and I end up with one meters per second. This wave is going one meters per second.